bit of a bumper to getting to actually sign with the club at first. Mm -hmm. Has that been journey? Has that journey been for you? Yeah, I mean, uh, it's kind of weird to finally be here. I think we've talked about it since signing. You know, it's four years in the making, pretty much, and um, obviously it was a, a nice start. Um, to get a, a win over your biggest rivals and obviously score a goal and managed to have a little joke with, with JT. Um, obviously better late than never. Um, and it's just nice to be here now and uh, you know, in such an important time for the club as well, moving into the, the race for the finals as well. So um, big win for us on the weekend and uh, another six big ones to go. Yeah, perfect. And obviously now that you've been here, you've been able to see kind of the facilities that we have mm -hmm. around here and you've also been able just to see like um the culture that's kind yeah. of like within the wonders so what's your thoughts on that yeah look i i think it's a, a great football club uh, you know and the facilities here are absolutely second to none you know from the training ground the facilities within it the staff um complementing it also you know the, the, it's just so professional it's a proper professional setup here um, and, and certainly Bankwest Stadium as well to, to top it off. Uh, it's always a stadium that if you talk to any other player in the A-League, th this is a stadium they really thoroughly enjoy uh, and want to come and play to, you know, in. Obviously the atmosphere can make it difficult for other teams and we hope that's going to be the case at the end of the season. Um, but it's certainly um, the, the best stadium and uh, without doubt, obviously, on the weekend, you know, being in the Sydney Derby, um, the atmosphere was, was fantastic and uh, hopefully we can have more of that before the end of the season. Yeah. And so you've kind of touched on um, the atmosphere aspect of the Sydney Derby. Mm. Fans are quite loud. Um, fan base is quite active as well. Yeah. Um, what's been your take on that? And how do you feel that would help you going off? Because you could have an empty stadium and our fans travel, they go and they're always loud and they're always back you. Yeah, they're, they're, a, they're a passionate crowd. And I, I love the fact that, um, you know, this football club's so ingrained with its local community and and what it means to to the fans here it's uh you know a, a, a club that touches the local community which is so important in football we, we see it all around the world that that's certainly the case and western uh western sydney's definitely the the leader in in football in australia for that and uh, all the community work that they do um you see it all the time on social media the boys do a great job and the club does also to connect with their fans and um we, we've seen what um, you know the the atmosphere it can be like you know at the old stadium as well and you know the great times that this football have, that this football club's had so um, for us it's about you know getting there again getting to the finals and uh, getting getting somewhere and giving the fans something to be excited about and uh, pushing into the finals and if we can do that then as we've seen within the season thus far the the league's so even at the moment. Um, out with Melbourne City, who you think are probably the best team in the in the in the, in the league at the moment. Um, but when it comes to those finals, it can be anyone's. But we're, we've got to get there first. So we've got, we've got to win and take care of our games that we've got left and, and, and win as many as possible. Perfect. And what do you think that um, your personality and kind of your um, character will add to the locker room? And what do you think yeah, you can kind of encourage the boys with? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm hoping leadership and, and experience and, and, you know, being able to, to bring that and bring some energy as well um, to the group um, for the next six weeks. And I think that's probably why I've been brought in by the management uh, and the coach and staff to, to give that um, type of experience and leadership on the pitch um, and, and just, you know, more or less echo what the, the manager and the, and the coaching staff want as well and, and, and just try and help as much as possible. We've got other great uh, experienced players here as well so for me I, it's, it, it was exciting coming here you know looking at the squad um, that, that is here and what they're capable of and, and especially at the front end of the you know the pitch we're really exciting and if we can get that right like we did on uh, on Saturday night then uh, we're, we're really going to be a, a team to fear I feel. Okay. And we have a quote of uh, you did talk about the experience and leadership that you, you can bring we are a club like Brisbane that play a lot of young players and they have a lot of young players coming up with yeah. our academy program and things like that. What things do you think that you can add to those young players to kind of give them the um, leadership that you did touch on by the yeah. Just trying to reinforce belief and confidence. I think that's important within young players. I think 
um, psychologically now is, is, is a big part of the, the game itself. And it's just reassuring them <clears throat> and, and giving them little pointers here or there. You know, um, I, I think you know, the young boys have done exceptionally well coming into the team this year. Taz, you know, Aquilina, uh, Nata, fantastic, you know, so um, to, to name a few. And, um, you know, they're still learning the game. So uh, we've got to try and help them along the way. And, and certainly within, you know, the pressures of the 90 minutes in, in the game itself, if you can, you know, sort of just help them every now and again and give them a few pointers and relax them in the situation, then I think that's very important as well. And bringing that sort of type of leadership out on the pitch to, to try and calm things when, when it's needed uh, at, at certain times. Yeah, perfect. And last question. Um, we are a team that kind of has a lot of depth when it comes up front. And mm. as Carl has said on numerous occasions, it's one of those things where you kind of have to fight for your place in the starting team. And how do you think that you that competition helps the boys and helps you as well? I think it's great. Uh, look, uh, obviously I'm going to say that I'm, I'm the one coming in, so it's sort of... But I, I look at it and any of the players that, that I look at, if I get the opportunity to play with, I'm excited about. You know, and I, and I think it probably brings a little bit more edge as well coming in this late. Um, another addition, you know, to the top end of the pitch. Um, every player wants to play, especially strikers. Um, that they want to play, they want to score goals. So if me coming in has helped give a little bit more edge to that and a little bit more push that the manager wants, then, then that's fantastic as well. And I hope that certainly is the case, and I think it is.